This is Ruby, an 18 month old Scottish Terrier bitch who we're going to put into a short trim. We start just by combing forward the whiskers and generally getting some idea as to what we're going to do. To clip the head, using an Oster A5 clipper and a blade a 7F. The lines for the um, head, if you go from the point of the elbow here, straight along the base, then a line from the base of the ear down to that point. The reason why we use, I use a 7F, it gives you sufficient growth that she doesn't look bald and you've, you can sort of clip within a close proximity to the shore. You've got to work the clippers in the direction the coat grows in, so you alternate directions. The remainder of the head, if you take a line from the base of the ear, straight across to the other ear, anything in front of that ear is taken off. Corner of the eye, across the top, to the other eye, then from the corner of this eye, and then round underneath the head. Scotty should have a distinct stop, which is a fall between the eyes down towards the muzzle. To show that, we take the clipper and take it down for about an inch down between the eyes. best thing to do is do a little bit, brush the head, brush the whiskers and then you can check to see if you need any more taking off. As you can see I've clipped here but we've got all of this loose hair here which I'll take off with a pair of scissors. Check for any other hair that you need to take off, and there's some under there. When we come to um, trim the ears, change the blade, and I actually use a surgical blade, it's a size 40. Here we um, use the clippers differently. Uh, under here we go in against the lie of the coat. On the ears we go with the lie of the coat. The line I'm using is to remove everything from the outside edge of that ear up the top. Everything from this edge as well and to the top.
quick brush and now I'm going to concentrate on the back area of this rough coat here. In the shore ring a Scotty needs to have about two inches of coat on its back. So in order to make sure I get that what I'm using is a stripping stone. You lift the hair up and put it the stripping stone in your hand there and using your thumb get hold of a small patch of hair and pull and as you can see I can, I can pull out we've got the dead roots there you should never cut the body coat of a Scotty for short trim and see that's falling in line pretty well now next we're going to attempt is the neck and shoulders temptation here is to use thinning scissors to get all that to blend in it isn't necessary you can do it equally as well by stripping it out if you if you do use thinning scissors within a few weeks it'll be very very thick again You can see that has blended in quite well. Is use a Mickey knife. It's been adapted slightly. When you buy them, they're far too sharp. So what I've done, I've taken a file and taken off all the sharp edges. That is blunt, and as you can see, I'm pulling out undercoat and loose top coat. This takes some time, but it's well worth persevering and not trying to cheat by using scissors. With a little patience, this hair will, will come down. <laughs> 